Hi everyone, this is Lade from astrolab.com and today I'm here with probably your favorite astrologer Nikola Stojanovic. Hi Nikola! Hi there, hi everybody. Long time not see, huh? I know, we've been preparing some amazing things for you guys and we're ready to announce them now together with Nicola. Uh. And, uh, the first one is that we're making together in 2019 a summer retreat on the summer solstice in Bulgaria. Last summer, me and Nicola met there. We love the place. And if you want any details, if you want to participate, it's going to be three days intensive classes. On you can below. You have a problem with you're not here well. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, let me uh, what people do. Do you hear us? Uh, just a second. Your voice is losing from time to time. Oh. Okay. okay. Let's see. Yeah, I hear an echo. <laughs> now try with the microphone. Yeah, they say there's an echo on my side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to turn down the speakers. Excuse me. People are saying you have to turn down your speakers. Uh, you have to change speakers, what? Or turn them down or something like that. Oh, yeah. But if you open a window, <laughs> you are loud, everybody will hear. Hopefully it works. Uh, it's his speakers, people are saying. My speakers? Okay. I think it's okay now. My speakers. Yeah? Can you hear me? Oh, yes, yes, I can. So can you hear no, me? Do, do I have an echo? Hmm. Hello? Hello? Okay, I hear you. So do you hear me now? Huh? Yes, I do. Good. Um, good, good, good. So yes, we said we're doing a seminar uh, or workshop for three days on the summer solstice in Bulgaria, in Sozopol. Guys, you can check out the details below. Yeah. Uh, also, we are doing, we're talking today about a very interesting topic, and that is how to find the right people in your life. And we're going to, Nicole is making a webinar on that on the 21st of December. 21st of December, yes. Yes. And, <laughs> and uh, uh, yes, there is, uh, if you can, uh, can we see this? Huh? Yes. There is my uh, degree book, you know, it is ready, you know, for sale. So everybody who wants to buy it can order it. And I put, you know, info about that at your Facebook page. Uh, astrolada.com you know and there is also info how they can order it you know, so and i gave email address of my wife my publisher so, very interesting i have a wife and and she's also a publisher so it means i have two two wives you know <laughs> <laughs> so you know book is finally ready you know so people can uh, learn about degrees more you know, so and what is very interesting, um, yesterday we sold about 30 books, you know, in one day. You know, it's yeah. people wow. have been waiting for a long time. And there is one interesting story about the book, you know. My, when you write a book or books, uh, third house represents books in general and the first book. And the second book must be a, a fifth house, you know. And the third one is seventh house. Okay. So my fifth house, second book, begins in the sign of Capricorn. And, you know, Capricorn means lots of problems and troubles, and, you know, and you also have to wait. It can't, it can't be out when you say, when you think it will be out, you know, out of breath. So all the time something happens and it must be postponed. You know, so. so listen, when we finish the book, me and my wife, uh, transportation and we decided to print in two books you know for us and to to find the uh, mistakes in books you know, because when you publish the book there must be no mistakes so but remember i have neptune in my third house 
Neptune means mistakes. mistakes. So look, you know, after the first reading, this red, you know, this uh, leaves all mistakes in books. Can you imagine how many? Of them? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I know, we believe, you know. So after we we read done it, and after the this reading, and when we make it okay, you know. After that, we find 10 more mistakes, and after that, five more, and after that, three more, and after that, one. So, so you know, it took so many time. For, you, you have to read all the book, all the way, you know, so. And also, two charts were wrong. So, <laughs> lots of mistakes there. But why? Because I have Neptune in my third house. And I, I have to tell you this. When I was writing that book in Serbia, you know, um, in 2002. Before that, I wanted to write the, the, the book in 2000. And what happened, you know, I, I woke up in, it was morning, I woke up, you know, and I was drinking my uh, coffee, you know, because I have a problem when I wake up, I need maybe one, maybe even two hours to enter the day. You know? My brain is not working that well. Mm -hmm. And one friend, astrologer, she told me she will come to visit me, you know? okay. So I said, okay, come, no problem. And she was ringing at the door and I was working something on my computer. And I didn't stand up to open the door, so I continued working. So she rang again, you know, so, so, and I had a small window at my computer ask, asking me to click on yes or no. And I clicked yes, and I went there uh, to open the door. So what happened? I erased all charts for my database. Oh my God. Can, can you imagine? I was collecting charts for this book for maybe three, two, maybe four years. I don't know. So, you know, my database was completely, you know, empty. Erased in an Neptunian yeah, way. Yes, yes. Can you imagine? I couldn't believe it. And so it took me one more year to select, you know, good examples from you. You must have good examples in book. A uh, good example, it means uh, you must um, describe, you know, with good examples what you want to say. You know? So it took me one more year. Can you imagine? Oh, so, my God. You know, my second book is in my fifth house in Capricorn. Is, yes. your, third, is your third book easier? <laughs> uh, it was much all. Oh, it was much easier. And what is very interesting, you know, the first buyer of the book was one guy from India, you know, India. As a country, they were born in their genetic chart in the sign of Capricorn. And the first buyer, he had uh, the ruler of his third house book, Saturn, at his very ascent. Can you imagine? <laughs> you, know, you know, energy of Capricorn. But you know, the book is really, really great. So send me one, Nicola. <laughs> well, I, I can. Do you want the? Uh, Physical book or you want uh, ebook PDF? Oh, I like the physical, but the ebook will be great. I will send you both. I will send you both. No problem. <laughs> no problem. Okay. So we'll what we will uh, why we will go to Sozopon, You know, we'll have a, a lectures there about how to to read um, solar charts. This is prediction, predictive techniques with solar charts. Yeah. And also, we, we should talk about, uh, uh, you know, where we should be at our birthday to have better charge, to how to relocate. Relocate. Our birthday. It birthday. works, you know, it works very, very well, indeed. I'm doing that, my wife is doing that, you know. So, and, and what is very funny, you know, my, my wife, then she was my client, you know, many years ago. She asked me where she should go for her birthday, I don't know, 2010, I and at that time, she was not my wife. Okay? So I told her the best place for her is to go to New Zealand, you know, to Auckland. <laughs> wow. so she, went, she went there with her son. You know, she went from LA to Auckland for birthday. You know. <laughs> but for that, you must have time and money. You know, so. yeah. And also, very interesting, I, I can also speak about that at that seminar you know, in Sosopo. Um, one uh, guy, criminal, you know, all the time, you know, he wants to have, he also was very good in astrology. 
And uh, every year he asked me where he should be for birthday, you know, because he doesn't want to be caught, you know, to go to jail. And the uh, last 20 years uh, he was not in jail, you know, and he's listening to me all the time. And he goes whenever I tell him. You know. And uh, three years ago I told him that Fiji, Fiji Island is great for him. So he, so he had to go from Sweden to Fiji. You know. <laughs> Well, because some people are asking, you're helping criminals, and they say they were I asking. Tell everybody asking. They, were, they were telling me, how do you feel about that? Like, how do you feel about helping? No, no, no. Listen, I'm not saying to kill somebody or something like that. But, you know, they are my clients, you know. So I also help some, for example, I, but I think I had to. You know, I had some politicians I don't like. You know, you can't say to some powerful man, no, I, I, I can do that, no problem. But it's not wise, you know, it's not wise. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> and I refuse many powerful men in, from the world, you know. I did it, really. But uh, sometimes you can't do that. Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. anyway, when I do sinister chart between me and that person, and if I see I might have a problem, it is much wiser to say yes. Do you understand? All yes. the time I, I use astrology all the time. Mm -hmm. So I do sinister chart between me and that person. And when I see I might have problem, I will say yes, no problem. And when I see I will not have problems, I said no, I'll find somebody else if I don't like them. Yeah. So I'm all my life I'm using astrology. So, and I'm okay. And listen, I know many secrets. So, and I'm alive. So, do you understand? I, you, first, you must, when you enter uh, that field, you know, when, when you have clients, very powerful people from all over the world, you must be very careful, you know. And I, I, I know how to do this. And I use astrology. No, we are still alive, so it must be working. <laughs> <laughs> No, and, and for the last um, 25 years, I have, you know, clients, very nice people, but also not very nice. But they are all nice to me. I, they need me. Yeah. <laughs> so you to teach us on the summer seminar how to use solar returns, where to move for yeah. your year to be better. Uh, you know, when we know astrology, we, what we can do, we, we should, we must use it for ourselves. It means to make our life better, with less problems. We can't avoid problems normally, you know. But we, what we can do, we can have less problems. Yes. You can see what might be a great problem, what be a, may, might be a smaller problem. So that's why people should use astrology. And when you use it, you know, your life is really much more easier. Yes. And, and, and I just want to say that I'm also doing this seminar, so I'll be teaching you guys my predictive techniques, the ones that I found over the years that work. So we'll, you have two classes every day, one with me, one with Nicola. So it's going to be a full day. And then we're going to the beach every day and we're hanging out, yeah. and we're talking astrology, drinking cocktails, and then we're going and to... And you will see Lada swimming like a mermaid. Oh. <laughs> you will see me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. And then we're going to a sacred site one of the days. I'm just telling people. Uh, it's an astrological, ancient astrological clock that they discovered. It's like 10,000 years old. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's we're going to combine. We're going to have a lot of great time. We're going to have parties at night. So. Uh, and also there is one very, we discovered, Leah and me, very good fish restaurant there. Near, oh. near the it's right next door, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's cheap in Bulgaria, so basically your expenses will be for the ticket there with the plane and uh, for the, uh, you know, for the for the webinars, of course, for the seminar. Uh, otherwise, the prices are very acceptable. I think they're twice less than... The people the are very nice, believe me. We had some problems, not with the car, we had a problem with... You know, we have bicycles behind, you know, so we had problem with that. I don't know how to say it in English, you know. And, you know, five people jumped to help us, and they, and I, I, they, and I also gave the money. 
they didn't want to take it and they helped us a lot we couldn't travel without them so people are very very nice people yeah so, and, and the food is good there so. yes guys amazing salads amazing fruits and vegetables <laughs> and fish as well so i hope we'll meet in life finally i'm so excited for this to happen and um please check the link below and if you have questions you can email me uh and uh, don't book your tickets yet before we confirm the full number we can get 30 to 40 people only uh and once we have confirmed that we have all the people you can go proceed to sort out the other details but anyway let's talk now about um uh, and i forgot to say that part of this course i'm giving away my classes for free whoever comes on the summer retreat the summer solstice retreat classes for 700 dollars for free i'm giving them so that will basically compensate a lot of the price of the ticket as well so you have a lot of freebies and uh, a one a six months of free transits as well calendar and a lot of other stuff anyway let's talk about today today the topic is how to find and choose the right people in your life uh, astrology yes why it is important you know for example we can't choose mother and father you know brother or sister siblings you know you get what you we get with them but we can choose other people in our life and when we choose people what we choose we choose their energies their their natal chart so our natal chart, our 10 planets, 12 houses, and, you know, are choosing another person's energy, you know, 10 planets and, and 12 houses, and, you know. And, uh, for example, when you meet somebody for the first time, you will like that person or not, or you will like that person very much, or you will not like that person very much. So what does it mean? It means... Uh, your synastry chart is very good, good or very bad or, or bad. So energies can, so we choose energies. Okay, so for example, you know, um, when, I, when I made my first website, it was in 2001, 2000, I think, 2001, yeah. Um, I had five people uh, who could make it. So what did I do? I took... Um, from all of them, I took um, bird data, you know. And I, what I did, I did synastry with them. And I choose one guy, you know, why, why him? I will explain. He has Mercury. Mercury rules with internet, with website, you know. In the sign of Aquarius, astrology. You know. mm -hmm. I also have Mercury in, in Aquarius. So our Mercuries are similar. And his Mercury is in trine, the best aspect with Uranus. Uranus is astrology. And also in trine with Jupiter, you know, it means you can make money with that. And also people from all over the world will be your uh, readers you know, at your website. So I choose him. And when we did that website, my website for, for many years was number one. For many years. And, and you actually just looked at his chart. You were looking yes. at him. Yeah, so it, you and, didn't and, yes. do and like his Mercury, Listen, his Mercury was in my sixth house, house of work, you know, and clients and everything. And his Jupiter and, and Uranus um, were in my second house, the house of income, money. Yeah. Okay, so you paid attention to that. So, well. you know, the, the astrology is my work. I have to work, you have to make money for living normally, you know. It's not number one in my life, but I, I, I used to live all my life nice living, nice life. You need money for that. So so every you know everything was fitting great. And also what I you know my website was and many people tell me now, even now, it's very old website, but they say one of the best in the world. Yeah. So I what did I do? So I took that energy from him. Listen, nothing bad happened to him. <laughs> I didn't, you know, like in movies, you take energy and he will die. You know? <laughs> it's not like that. You know. Just, you know, you use that energy for yourself, for your benefit. And also when I, I married, 
I, you know, we choose the best man or, you know, at wedding, witness at wedding. So who did they choose? You know, one guy. First, listen, I must like them also. We can have a good, you know, if I don't like him, that person, I will not do, I, I find another guy. So with good aspect. So I choose one guy, great guy from great family, very famous, not only here in Serbia, also worldwide. But now I will not speak about that family. And um, uh, he had in his 12 house, uh, 12 house represent witness at wedding, you know, best man. He has U Jupiter conjunction Uranus. Great for me. You know. Jupiter, you know, great planet, Uranus astrology. You know. <laughs> and my, my wife, you know, that I married then, second wife. She had in her seven house. Listen, I didn't choose her be, because of astrology aspects. First, I was in love with her, normal, you know. So I, I'm not a monster, I'm not a, a robot, you know. I'm a human being. But what she had, you know, in her seven house begins at 29 degree of Gemini. Gemini is to be a writer, okay? 29 degree, you know, to give prognosis accurately. Also, and in the seventh house, she has Jupiter Uranus. That's true. Uh, husband astrologer Uranus. And in the sign of Cancer, first time become popular in my country, normally. And Jupiter Uranus, very sextile, great aspect with Mercury, the ruler of the seventh house. And Mercury was in, in her chart in the sign of Virgo at the 20th degree of Virgo in the eighth house. And there is also a fixed star, star called the nebula. And the nebula is like three Uranus. So her, you know, husband. And I really, I have become very famous as an astrologer while I was married with her during that marriage. And all, everything important I wrote when I was living with her. <laughs> wow, so her chart helped you because... Yes, her chart helped me. Yeah. And you know, nothing bad happened to her. You know, she was we were in love and we lived for, I don't know, 12, 12 years. You know, and I fall in love with another woman and I left. Okay. But I'm still taking care. I respect her very much, very much as a person, as my ex wife. You know, she's also mother of our child. And I'm helping her all the time. You know, so she doesn't have to work. She lives nicely. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and I really, really respect her very, very very, yeah. very nice person, very nice. Well, you know, uh, I think I told him, but uh, when we were talking about this in Bulgaria, and I said my husband, Jupiter, falls in my, on the cusp of my second house, and Jupiter, <laughs> so the moment I met him, without us doing something together, just we started living together, uh, I started making three times more money, three times as much, and it's been constantly like that. Because and, Jupiter yeah. falls on my second house and Jupiter. Works, works. Yeah. So <laughs> it is right, you know. Okay, you know, you must, you, you can't just marry because of that. You know. No, not, of course not. Oh, you know, we are human beings, you know, we are not robots. But it is wise, you know, okay, it is wise if, we, for example, if you work something and you want to have a partner in work. So it is wise to use astrology for that. Who should be a partner, you know? And uh, I will speak about that, you know, about you know who, for example, if you have a company and you have to employ people. So who to employ? When you employ people, you take their energies that can be good or bad for you. No, so anyway, no. you know what I noticed, for example. I had, uh, you know, Coca-Cola is a great company, one of the greatest in the world, okay. They're making billions and billions of dollars, okay. And there is also Coca-Cola here in Belgrade, in Serbia. And some of them were my clients. And all of them, listen, all these people working in Coca-Cola, one of the greatest companies in the world, they have very good moon and Jupiter. And they give that good energy to Coca-Cola. And that's why Coca-Cola is one of the best companies. Moon rules with everything we drink. Mm -hmm. Jupiter is to make money, more money, to expand business. And all of these people, I don't know if they have astrologers there. I, I don't think so. But, but you know, a very strong company, and when you're very strong and powerful, 
it means Coca-Cola as a company has a very good chart. And it means when you have a very good chart, you will hire people with good energies. And all of these energies are built in Coca-Cola more and more. It's fantastic how it works. Fantastic. Yeah, so you've been and I also kept some companies here in Serbia, very important one, large one. So they asked me who should we hire, you know, and they send me bird after them. And I say, you know, these people you should fire, this one should work here or there. And they work very good. <laughs> and you know, and somebody find out that I'm hiring people or firing people in with using astrology. And some people were very angry. And they came to me. I said, yes, yeah, you can come, no problem. And then I explained them, listen, you're not for that company, not for, for that job. You must find some other job. Yeah, you won't be happy there. <laughs> no, you won't be happy there. And they will not be happy with you. So, And then I tell them, what job is the best for them? And they went out, you know, happily. Yeah. <laughs> So astrology is extremely powerful science, you know, and people should use it in all parts of our living in life. And I'm using for myself only when I do something very important. And for ordinary life, you know, I don't use it. But when I have to do something important for me, you know, I will, you know, look. I will no. use it. <laughs> You can't, you can't use it every day. You become crazy. Oh, no, no. I have, I have friends. Listen, if you want to be normal, astrology is, you know, a secret science. It, you know, we are taking... I had so many problems because I took knowledge from the God. That's why I had so many problems with this book. It can't be easy, you know. So what I want to say... Uh, I have friends. If you want to remain normal learning astrology, you must be married, you must have kids, you know, you must have normal life. I have friends. All their life they were, you know, only astrologers. And all of them are a bit mad now. Believe me. Mm. All of them, you know, three, four, five of them. They, they got mad, you know, because you can't you can't think only about astrology 25 hours a day. You know? It's not normal. Yeah. You know, when I finish work, I'm not a soldier, I go out, I live my life. And I'm not answering the phone. Even when I'm out, I'm not answering the phone. I will answer my phone when I want. Mm. Or I will answer a Skype message or, or email. When I sit in my office, and then I will do it. I will not do that from, you know, cafe or something like that. You I must have your own life. <laughs> You must have your own life too. <laughs> learn that lesson. <laughs> you learn that lesson. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm telling you, I have friends, colleagues, and I'm very sorry about that. Five, six of them, they got mad you know, because they didn't have children, a wife, you know, they, at the end, they remain alone, you know, only astrology, only astrology. You will go mad. Yeah, I try yeah. to handle every with that. <laughs> well, can you give us a little bit more? Like, give us an example. Oh. example. For example, there, there was one lady. She wanted to build, to rebuild her old house. So, a lot of work there. You know. So, she asked me when to do that. I told her when, what the time is the best for that, you know. But I told her, never hire a man born in the sign of Capricorn. Never do that. You must choose who will work, you know, who will be a constructor there, you know. But, you know, some people don't listen. They come and you tell them and they just go and do what they want. So why did I tell her that? She has Mars to construct, to build. In the sign of Capricorn, very slow. Capricorn is, you know, slow sign. So if you hire somebody who who is born was born in the sign of Capricorn, that person will do it very very slow. Mm -hmm. And what did she do? You know, she hires one man Capricorn, and he that person didn't finish his job for two years. Can you imagine two years? Uh, he should done it in maybe 
seven, eight months time. Yeah. Uh, but after two years time, he was not, oh, you know, it was not over. Can you imagine? And she came to me again to complain. So why didn't I listen you? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> The very good example, you know, Mars to build in Capricorn, slow, you know, so if you hire a Capricorn man, you know, it will, and it was very slow. And at the end, he even didn't finish. He went abroad, so she uh, found some other man and he finished it. And it lasted almost three years' time. So it's not normal, you know. So, so this is, you know, very good example, you know. So, um, if you choose bad, bad things will happen. Mm -hmm. Was I clear? Huh? Was I clear? Yes, absolutely. So it's best to use this, what you're going to teach us, for choosing people to help us make a website project with business. Anything. For example, if you choose a hairdresser, that person is touching you all the time, you know, gives, gives you um, uh, the energy that he is he or she has. So it's, it is, you know, people can think, you know, so what is important, you know, who will cut your hair? It is important, you know, because you go there maybe twice, uh, I don't know, women goes more often, twice a month, you know, and that person will touch your hair, you know, so <laughs> it is also very important. What would you look for in a good hairdresser, <laughs> astrologer? Uh, first, you must start from your chart, and the hairdresser is Mars. Mars is cutting. Sure, sure. So that person must have a good Mars, especially good Mars when you do be real uh, synergy charts with you. Mm -hmm. so, and also Venus is very important. You must look good. You know, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So Mars and Venus are important for that. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> yes, it is. So, but listen, we choose people every day almost, you know. And uh, for example, if you find a job, if somebody find job in some company, and is not feeling well, there, try to find another job. Go out. You know. Especially, for example, I have Venus in my sixth house. It means when I work. I, I want to feel good, you know, and I like nice people, you know. And most of my clients are really, really, really very nice, most of them. But, you know, some are not, you know, so uh, I be, I'm nice to them, nice to them, and one in the one moment I said, go out and never come back. So you have to do something like that also. But, you know, not so often, thank God. You know. So, so when you have Venus in the sixth house, you expect when you find job that everybody is okay, okay. There, that you have good contacts with um, other colleagues, you know. And if you don't have it, you will, you know, you will be very, very frustrated and not, not. So um, it also means when you have your own company, and if you have Venus in the sixth house. Uh, you must have good connection with people who will work for you. If you don't have it, you know, what's the point, you know? So this is important, you know, this is very important. Also, you know, where to buy things in what shops. <laughs> and everything is important, everything. Well, what do you mean where to buy things? Uh, for example, I have Mercury in the sixth house. Um, and I like small shops. I don't like mega, you know, supermarkets on mega, mega shops. You know. And I hate going there. I know it is cheaper, you know, when you buy it there. But I enjoy, you know, in buying these corner shops, small ones. Uh -huh. Why? Because I have, for example, Mercury in conjunction with Venus and the Moon. I, I like nice conversation with people working there, like being a family, you know. You know. And when I come into that shop, they all know what they want to buy, you know, they are we make jokes, you know. Nice, I enjoy that. When I go to super mega shops, you know, you know you, nobody knows, you don't know anybody there. You know. so you I, the I don't house. like it, for example. And I don't feel good when I go there. So the sixth house, you look at it as a shopping place where you shop? Uh, sixth house, I have Mercury to buy and to sell, it means shops in the sixth house. So I, I like to have good connection, good communication with people working there. Mm -hmm. And you know, whenever I go, I go where I like. 
to be, you know, let it feel nice. And it's good energy. I give them, I make some jokes, you know, they're laughing. They make some jokes, I'm laughing, you know. So it's nice, you know, that buying is nice. We give each other good energy. Energy mm -hmm. is, you know, very important. What if someone has the Saturn there in the sixth house? <laughs> uh, it depends on aspects. <laughs> Listen, if Saturn is good you know, in sixth house, in good aspects, so it means you like to go to the same place. Saturn is like status quo, the same place. You, know, you don't want to change. You know. And if Saturn is a good aspect, so you are okay then. And you have to hire all the people to work with you, <laughs> Saturn. Uh, only it, it depends. We'll talk on webinar. It's uh, your wide story, you know. You can't just say it now. It's much wider story. I will give you good examples, you know, bad examples, and uh, and I have to explain all all of that how it works. You know? So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll have a story about that. We'll have. And the Saturn in the sixth house is good only if it has good aspects, only then. If you have Saturn in the sixth with bad aspects, you can, you know, go to Himalaya, you know, and, <laughs> <laughs> and scream. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, then. So the webinar will be on the 21st of December, guys. It's uh, $29. Uh, so uh, check it out and uh, join us live. We can watch the recording after that. And you need to know some understanding of astrology, houses, aspects, you know, signs and planets, what they mean in order to understand that webinar. And also you can check out our summer solstice retreat 2019 in bulgaria suzapo and nicola's new book that took forever <laughs> yeah, yeah. now i will get drunk with water and lemon yeah <laughs> cheers thank you so much have a great uh, week is it me? yeah it's midweek so still week yeah. and we'll see you very soon again see you very soon all the best to all bye bye